T.S. Eliot once wrote, only those who will risk going too far can possibly find out how far they can go. Love has much in common with wilderness backpacking. Both require hard work, preparation, resilience, and most of all, a willingness to embrace the unknown. But the payoffs for those who take the chance are magnificent and life-changing. In the heaven of dust light. For one human being to love another human being, that is perhaps the most difficult task that has been entrusted to us. The ultimate task. The final test and proof. The work for which all other work is merely preparation. That is why young people, who are beginners in everything, are not yet capable of love. It is something they must learn with their whole being, with all their forces, gathered around their solitary, anxious, upward heart. to another kind of agony that I'm sure we can all relate to. His examination revealed that he had no fever, no pain anywhere, and that his only concrete feeling was an urgent desire to die. <laughs> all that was needed was shrewd questioning, first of the patient and then of his mother, to conclude once again that the symptoms of love were the same as those of cholera. I'm constantly caught in the craziest places between the birth of a thought and the making of faces. tattooed my skin to remind me of how it says this is your life find a passion and pursue it fall in love dream big drink wine eat great food and spend quality time with good friends laugh every day believe in magic Tell stories, <clears throat> reminisce about the good old days, but look to the future. Travel often, learn more, be creative, spend time with people you admire. Seize opportunities when they reveal themselves. Love with all your heart. Never give up. Do what you love. Be true to who you are. Make time to enjoy the simple things in life. Spend time with family. Forgive even when it's hard. Smile often. Be grateful. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Follow your dreams. Try new things. Work hard. Don't count the minutes. Count the laughs. Embrace change. Trust in yourself. Be thankful. Be nice to everyone. Be happy. Live today. And above all, Make every moment count. Not the long flowing dread 
poured in the light coming off for your skin the fragile heart you protected for so long the mercy in your sense of right and wrong my great privilege to officiate today. My qualifications are thin. <laughs> I like to think I know at least a little something about love. And I can say without hesitation that the two people we are here to celebrate today, this relationship is truly magical. It has been an absolute joy to watch these two wonderful humans find each other and fall so deeply in love. Marquez next offers this description of the way love deepens. As we have all witnessed Stephanie and Ken's love deepen. It was the time when they loved each other best, without hurry or excess, when both were most conscious of and grateful for their incredible victories over adversity. Life would still present them with other mortal trials, of course, but that no longer mattered. They were on the other shore. <sighs> Stephanie, I remember the first time we met. You looked absolutely exhausted from running a marathon the day before. <laughs> but I also remember that you were the most fascinating and intelligent and kind and beautiful woman I had ever seen. And you still are. But for me, the trail magic on that trip was building a relationship with you. My time on the trail was truly magical. And now I couldn't be happier to, hear, to be here at our trail magic wedding. From the moment we first met to this very moment right now, the way you move through the world, by always leading with kindness and empathy. It's one of your many superpowers. I know I'm lucky to have you in my life, and that our children will be even luckier. My first promise to you is to always be kind, even when I'm having a bad day or I'm at my worst. I promise to always reach out to you, to reach out to you and to our children. Because of you, I've learned how important communication is to a, sex, to a successful relationship, and I certainly have room to grow. But every day I learn how to do it better because of you. <laughs> I promise to show up for you in all your moments, big and small. I will be there for you. I can't wait to start down this trail with you and sing bad songs and play bad word games and tell the best slash worst dad jokes. <laughs> and I promise to love you and to always advocate for you and for us in both the highest and easiest of moments, but also in the lowest and most challenging moments that life will bring us. And then one night, when you saw me struggling to make it up a final hill, at the end of a huge day, exhausted but embarrassed to show weakness, you gave me just the quietest and perfect amount of encouragement. Hey, you're doing great things right now, Stephanie Phillips. I almost cried. It was exactly what I needed. And you were indeed who I was looking for. So maybe it actually wasn't magic. Maybe it was just us being smart enough to recognize something special, to slowly get ourselves ready, and then work our way back to each other. Ken, I want you to know that I am in awe of you. I so deeply admire the unassuming and calm kindness you bring to every situation you're in, the way you work so hard to make everyone around you feel heard, and at ease to make them laugh. The way people say, hey, Ken, and your go-to response is to give them your complete and utter attention with the classic line, yes, tell me everything. <laughs> I promise to support you in your goals, to provide you the encouragement you so generously give me all the time. And I promise to love you and always advocate for you and for us in both the highest and easiest of moments, but also the lowest and most challenging that life will bring us. 
So yes, let's keep doing great things. I love you very much. These rings today symbolize eternal love and serve as a beautiful, tangible reminder of the commitment you are making to each other. May they always rest comfortably upon your fingers and be a constant source of joy and solace. Okay, as you place the ring upon Stephanie's finger, please repeat after me. Stephanie with this ring. Stephanie with this ring. I pledge to you. <laughs> I pledge to you. My eternal and unbroken love. My eternal and unbroken love. From this day until forever. From this day until forever. <laughs> Do you, Stephanie, take Ken to be your husband and trail partner from this day forward for all time and in all adventures, promising to love, honor, cherish, and protect him forevermore? I sure do. <laughs> then may the love and excitement and support you feel today, shared by all of us here, set you on the course of a new and magic trail as wife and husband. It is now my joy and great honor to pronounce you married. Now is the time for passionate kissing and joyful cheering. <laughs> And when I, met, when I met Ken, it was exactly that. You could see how special their connection was. I'd like to think that Ken was nervous meeting Steph's friends, but he came off cool, collected, with his dry humored self. Um, 
Steph and Ken together, just they just fit. And they both possess a strong sense of self and their energies complement each other extraordinarily. <laughs> I always thought that my brother's calling in life was chasing adventure, wandering the great unknown, hiking around the world. And I realize now I was almost right. It is all of those things, just with Stephanie by your side. Stephanie, you look absolutely beautiful tonight. We are so happy to have you in the family. We're so happy for both of you. That, that's all I got. <laughs> Cheers to Stephanie and Ken. There is nothing in my humble view that contributes more to a lifetime of partnered happiness um, than a curious nature focused on a partner who is in key ways your opposite. This shared attribute of curiosity will in the end also be your guide to the most magical trail of all, to the most important and meaningful place you will ever travel together, and that's deep into each other's hearts. We are so happy for you both. Here's to love and curiosity. Yes. <laughs> Stephanie, Kenny now has you to share all his adventures with. You are a wonderful person, and I welcome you to our very crazy family. <laughs> Thank you for loving my son. The main thing that had really made her decide wanting to marry Ken is that she said, he just makes me feel so great. And um, then she told the anecdote about how she was struggling going uphill, and she heard behind her, you're doing great things, Stephanie Phillips. And so I would like to find my glass and then raise it to you um, and say, I am so grateful you found someone who makes you feel as great as you make everybody feel and who creates the space for you to be even greater. I love you both. Daisies blooming Sundress swaying in the breeze I can't stop staring You've put a spell on me And I hope Never decide to set me free The way you're moving It's got me moving my own feet The greatest feeling That I could ever dare to dream Is you forever moving next to me Let's not waste time or take this slow We've got miles behind us but miles to go So let's just break this down To the simplest truth You and I as one will always be better than two Leaves ain't waiting their colors changing like the times And I'm taking Darling, would you be mine? And I hope you know I will love you For the rest of my life Let's not waste time or take this slow You got miles behind us but miles to go So let's just break this down the simplest truth You and I as one Will always be better than two